Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another resin project. So today I'm going to be showing you how to take the tiniest little resin mold and make itty bitty baby acorns. These are so cute. I don't know why, I just, I saw the mold and I was like, have to have that. So they are literally acorn size. I did get a few of these silver tops, which are adorable and you can use them for necklaces. I also grabbed just a bunch of actual acorn hats. That's what I call them. <laughs> acorn tops from outside and used those as well. So this is a fun little craft. You can use it for a necklace or a pendant, earrings if you wanted rather large acorn earrings, or like I'm mainly using them, which is for fall decor. So this is a quick, easy UV resin project, although you could make them with a regular one-to-one -one resin. You would just have to wait a long time for each acorn. And we are going to get started now. All right, y'all, so let's jump right in. I'm going to be showing you how to make these adorable little UV resin acorns today. So depending on which ones you want to make, the, the kit comes with this little, itty bitty little acorn silicone cup. And then it does come with one silver top. And the nice thing about the silver top is that it does have and get it to focus. It has a hole through the, the middle of the stem so that you can thread this for a necklace. Now, I did buy extra tops. You can buy as many of them as you like, but I am using them for a necklace and for decor. And so instead of buying a million of the expensive whoop, resin tops, I also collected some actual acorn tops from my yard, literally from my yard, and I just painted the tops copper. I left some of the bases, and I will be showing you how to make them with the silver tops and with the acorn tops. So first things first, I am using UV resin for this project since we need so many of them. I've been making them in a couple different colors, glitter, copper, and pink. So this is, Here's the glitter. This is what they look like when they're just freshly out of the mold. And since I didn't want to use regular maker epoxy, the one-to-one -one ratio that I typically use, and then wait hours for it to cure, we are using UV resin. I prefer Total Boat UV resin, but I am trying to use this up. And since I'm making a whole bunch of these at once, I figured that'd be a great way to do it. So we're going to go ahead and make one more copper acorn. And I do think we need a little bit more resin. So in order to mix this, I just squeeze some into my little measuring cup and then mix it up with either, this is paint or glitter or mica powder. And then we will pour it into our mold. Now, the amount you need for these little acorns is so minuscule, I can't even tell you like five milliliters. A couple squeezes and then pour. And you wanna fill it up just to the top here. Perfect. That is literally as long as it takes. All right, so now that we are full to the top, we're going to go ahead and cure our acorn. But I find that you might notice our little silicone mold here, he gets a little bent out of shape and not in a good way. So instead of curing him as an oblong piece, I just pick him up and give him a little squeeze and make sure he's round before I cure him. And you will notice as you do this that he gets, starts getting hot and curing after almost a couple seconds. So you don't even have to hold him for the whole time. Just start to turn him and you'll notice exactly when you can set him down because the sides will start to separate from the actual mold. 
All right, so once it's cured, we can go ahead and release him. You can tell it's cured. He is hot to the touch and, uh, and no longer liquid. But you just peel those sides back as far as you can. And then I find you just squeeze the bottom. He pops out. He pops out. He's a cute little resin acorn. We are losing the lighting fast, y'all. So now we have a couple options. I'm gonna take off this glove. Whether we're using a silver cap or a painted regular cap, we want to put our cap on. So for this one, I'm gonna go with the silver cap that you can buy. And we're going to start by just dry fitting it and see this one seemed pretty round, so I think he actually fits fine. But you can see right there, like if he fits inside, then that's what we're looking for. So in order to attach this guy, I should have left my glove on. I don't know why I was like, oh, we're all done with the resin. Well, it's not worth the risk. I'll put my glove back on. You don't want to get resin all over your fingers. Even if it's just a little bit, you can wipe it off really quickly. However, if you do it too often or if you have a bad reaction, it can burn you, it is toxic, it can have long lasting effects that are just not necessary. Wear gloves, y'all, wear your respirator. Resin is fun, but it's only fun if you're using it safely. So, all right, that's better. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hold the acorn cap and I'm going to fill it a little bit with like two drops of UV resin. I'm going to use my popsicle stick to spread it to the edges. Perfect. Now I'm going to add my acorn. Perfect. And now I'm going to UV it. Either someone's here or my dogs are very excited for no reason. All right. So now you can see if I try to pull them. Oh, the bottom is definitely hot, but they are stuck together like glue. Our cute little acorn. So give me a minute. I'm going to put tops on the rest and I'll be back. All right. All my acorns are done. You can see the cute little hats. I did a couple with double hats. I did some separate hats, the little silver hats. I even did a couple with empty hats. So I really just wanted a truck bed full of acorns. I don't know why. I'm just gonna put this on my shelf as part of my fall display. But I thought it, I had this little tiny truck. It's actually a Christmas ornament. And I just thought it was so cute. And I just, just wanted to fill the truck bed with acorns. I don't know why. How cute is that? Oh man, acorn down, back in the truck you, going to harvest. Maybe it's a little truck man going to sell all his acorns. So then you can also, with the silver top ones, the ones you can purchase, you can add a chain and make a necklace. 
or earrings or a keychain. Um, I'm making a necklace because I have a branch little little tiny branch that's about this long that I'm also making into a necklace and I want to stack them. So I will put some clips of that at the end of this video. But for now, our tiny resin UV acorns are finished. You can use them around. So they don't wanna sit on trucks very well. You can use them for jewelry. You can use them for decoration. They are so small, but they are so cute. So I hope you liked this project. Making one is pretty quick and easy. Making 20 is also easy, but more time consuming. So either way, I hope you loved it. See you in the next one. Bye.